Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up, handsome man? What's up? What's up, Hafiz? How are you? How's working? I'm from home good. For you, man? I mean, uh, it's different, but I wish I could go to the studio because <laughs> right. working from home makes me an even lazier person. I know what but, you mean, bro. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> how so are you? I'm yeah. good. I'm good. It's just, uh, it's really weird to transition from like an extrovert i want to go out every day and now mm. suddenly i have to stay home if not mm. the police comes it really kind of sucks but um generally it's all right i'm not that kid <laughs> so so are you coming up with uh, like more video content for your tiktok right now now with mco mc um the thing is like um i actually because of this mco i'm trying to plan things out a little bit better so i actually mm -hmm. have less tiktok i wouldn't say less tiktoks it's just um I am still posting, just like mm -hmm. probably the same amount, but I'm planning out things so I don't want to go in the wrong direction in the future, like, basically. Oh, okay. I, I see some of your fans here. Uh, <laughs> Rachel Lee is saying, I'm Eric's <laughs> oh, biggest fan. She, she's totally a fan, totally. <laughs> yeah? Nice. Sure, okay. Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Uh, What's up? Hot you, I miss you. <laughs> you know what, Eric? I noticed your first TikTok. Okay, when did you join TikTok? Was it like way back when it was, it was like super mainstream? No, it wasn't. So the one reason I joined TikTok was mainly because I make videos because mm -hmm. I was based on Instagram and I just made videos all around. And then just uh, one day I noticed TikTok because I was watching TikTok memes on the internet. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then I was just like, dude, this is so something I enjoy. Why should, why am I not in a part of it or something? Yeah. Um, so I joined. But the funny thing is um, I love these uh, comedy contents, um, these these skits they would do and stuff and then what i realized was the first few tiktoks i just spammed my flipping flipping videos because mm. i really didn't know what to post so i just mm. found archives slapped it on the tiktok edited it a little bit i didn't mm. even know how to edit bro i just tucked the button and then it looked kind of good yeah oh my god last time, it, was, it wasn't that accurate right when you wanted to edit i mean back then when it wasn't updated the app yeah like back then honestly it was just like I saw cool edits, so I like, ah, tekan, tekan, tekan. Ah, like when I flip a back there, I press this button, and then it did an effect, but <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait, is this D. Elvin Chong, who's also a uh, Hantu TikTok? Yes, it's D. Elvin Chong, but Hantu TikTok, but yeah, he's a, he's on TikTok too. He Elvin, is a major dancer on TikTok, man. Uh, 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 whatever Elvin, sets that he, he shoots on, he will ask his co-stars to do TikTok with him. Yeah, that's amazing. I love watching it too. Just yeah. So in your yeah. case, when you first you studied people's TikTok and uh, and all those uh, different videos, I mm -hmm. I noticed when I first uh, joined TikTok, I, I saw a lot of your videos where you did your Spider Man skit, you know, with the <laughs> flips in public. How did that come about? Okay. Um, first, the whole Spider Man thing um, was already viral. Not because of TikTok. Um, mm -hmm. It was viral on Instagram, Twitter, and it got on like space.com and stuff like that. Oh, okay. But, okay. What, but the thing about TikTok is, TikTok is such a. Um, people like to watch just short, um, entertaining clips on TikTok. And what I realized is that my whole Spider Man video is like. It's, it's just a full, I think it's three to four minutes. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, but mm -hmm. at, per few, like 10 seconds, it's a piece of content, a piece of content. So I just realized that, okay, why not? I just edit it and then I'll just cut it out afterwards and re-edit just a little bit for TikTok and mm -hmm. slap it on there. And it worked quite well, actually. And, and for a while back then, I think around May, June, July, around the time, I was known as that Spider-Man guy, like yeah. around KL. <laughs> I, that was kind of funny, honestly, but yeah. <laughs> because people didn't see your face, but after you did all those flips, did you actually show the Peter um, Parker behind the mask? I know there are a few scenes where I had to, maybe because it was too hot. Girl. And dude, the thing is, I, I give super credits to Peter Parker, a Peter Parker plus Tom Holland, Tom Holland. being, being, <laughs> being Spider-Man. You know why? Uh? When yeah. you wear the Spider-Man uh, mask, right? Bro, mm -hmm. you can barely see anything, man. Even so, with the little holes on the eye, the lens. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it, imagine your 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 eyesight gets like cancelled like halfway through. So yeah. when I'm doing flips, like half of it, it has to be muscle memory. Another another half is just me doing this, man. It's just because oh I want to make it look good. <laughs> Isn't yeah. that super dangerous? Oh, 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 I remember now talking about super dangerous. There was one 
uh, I think it was a TikTok clip as well where you did a flip at the edge of somewhere. Where was that and where was your brains when you wanted to do that? I, I think I'll answer where was my brains first because that's okay. so important. <laughs> um, firstly, I wasn't thinking. Mm. <laughs> but but I think um, when it comes to things like this, I've done a few actually, um, but I, I haven't posted a lot of these really... Uh, let's just call these dumb tricks, uh, dangerous Extreme. tricks. Extreme. Okay? That's what but, I would call it. Extreme, you might die in a second kind of tricks, okay? Yes. But um, <laughs> the thing is like... Uh, when it comes to things like this, how, how I think about it is like, yo, I flew here, this is the only chance I get to do this. In the next hour or so, I have to jow already. If I don't do something amazing here, I will regret it for life. And I know I will regret it for life. So I start yeah. thinking and I'm like, I can make a video here. And I shot something and I'm like, that's not good enough. And then my, my friend was holding my camera, I'm like, bro, record me right now. Do not say a word. I'm going to do something. You cannot stop me. And then he's like, and then he walks and then the video started and then I was like looking around honestly I was really scared but um you also realize right I kind of slipped mm. not really yeah so yeah that is something uh, I super do not recommend please do not do that especially when you're home <laughs> it's, it's okay with you doing all that all these crazy stunts right I'm sure you have a great background which is uh, you did parkour or you did something like kung fu martial arts uh, yeah, um, back then, I trained Wushu for more than 11 years actually. Mm. So, if you, this thing, if you see in the movies, people do this. My yes. routine has that thing. I trained that basically my whole Wushu career. But okay. the funny story is, the reason why I joined Wushu was because I saw someone doing a flip. And I didn't know back then when I was young that flipping didn't mean Kung Fu. So, yeah. I instantly was like, Ma, I want to train Kung Fu, your Wushu ma. So, you say some more. And then, uh, and then my mom just brought me to see like Kung Fu and ta Taekwondo or something. Yeah, yeah. And I settled to Wushu. But it was still a great experience. I loved it. I loved the sport. I loved the tradi tradition of it. I became Dan Chena afterwards. Uh. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> okay, serious bro, for the, serious. For, for those who don't know, you are half Chinese, half German? Uh, half Chinese, half Swedish. Swedish? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's more exotic than what I thought. Yeah, okay. meatballs. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Swedish meatballs and uh, what else do they eat? Chocolates? Chocolates and watches uh, and cheese? Cheese got uh, the salmon, I guess. Uh, oh, one, one cool thing is Malaysia has the smelliest fruit. Sweden has the smelliest uh, fish that people eat. Lah. What it's called is scrumming. It is, it is a really horrendous meal. I cannot eat it. You shouldn't S try it. Swiss scrumming? Uh, Swiss scrumming. It's okay. like, it's basically fermented fish. Oh yeah, but I don't understand it. It's okay. I, I've never okay. tried. Okay, I will try my best to avoid it. Okay, so Eric, you are here yeah. for a reason. You got to teach us how to come up with great TikTok content because mm -hmm. a lot of people who just join TikTok, they also they always think, okay, TikTok is where I can dance. I learn the dance from Charlie Melo, and then we'll <laughs> just re right. replicate it and do our own version of whatever dance. But uh, for those of us who don't really dance, is there anything that we can like, you know, serve in, for the TikTok community? Yeah, you totally can. But I, I guess I'll, I'll just quickly go through why TikTok has become like this because mm. I think I've been through that. So um, a while ago, TikTok wasn't really, really a dance app. And I guess now people stereotype it as a dance app because so many yeah. people do it, la, I understand also. Yeah. Um, and Charlie the Medium is actually the reason it became a dance app. Charlie joined last year, November, and she just She blew just up. joined? How? Yes. How so did people Char catch on to her? Dude, she has 44 million. She's the number one girl on TikTok. And you already know how successful she is. Uh. She's been on Super Bowl and stuff like that already. Is it because of her renegade dance or the say-so dance that made her really huge? Uh, um, the main reason, what I understood, is that mm -hmm. Charlie's personality is very perfect for TikTok. Oh, okay. Mm. Here comes like some tips on TikTok, uh, which mm -hmm. I actually learned from Jeff. I think Jeff is on here, but I can't see him now. Anyways, okay. Um, what the number one thing you have to do on TikTok is this will sound so cheesy, but really just be yourself. Because by the end of the day, it shines through the camera. You can't yeah. really uh, if you you can't really fake how you want people to think you are on TikTok. As yeah. much as there's a lot of like um boys that act really like sexually and stuff like that, there is, but. <laughs> By the end of the day, um, it what matters really is like um, you being yourself. Look, Je uh, Jeff is right there actually. Thanks, Jeff, for that tip. And Jeff Human, really what's up, Jeff? Yeah, 
and I really, really agree with the tip. That's that's mm. one. And and then secondly is uh anyone can honestly be on TikTok. Nice, Josh. That's my friend actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> Great support that you're getting, man. Like wow. I, get, I think they want to throw me off guard right now. Okay, it's anyways. okay. You guys can ask questions and we'll make Eric answer on our side. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, anyone can can go on TikTok because honestly, TikTok is. Um, if you if you think about TikTok as a platform where you just want to get entertained, I think it's mm. easier for you to think of content. Because if you just lock it down to Nola TikTok is the dance app, Nola TikTok is only the people that are actually funny. Girl. Nola actually mm, mm. the people that are super talented only they record their talented stuff. Mm. That's when you think th- uh, TikTok's not meant for anyone. But the the real fact is TikTok is meant to be. I've even noticed that TikTok is meant to be just for normal, ordinary people and for them to shine through with something that they have. Um, for an example, right, you know about this guy that all he does on TikTok is does reviews about food and somehow people love it. He gets six digits, seven digit views on his reviews and I swear to you, all he does is he starts the camera like uh, food review and then he will take something and then he'll like, yeah. and then he'll eat it and then he's like, very scrumptious, uh, 10 out of 10 or something like that. But the way yeah. he says it, I can't do it. That's why I don't have that talent. But the way that guy does it, just there's something that you like about it. And that's for you to find, honestly. I can't tell anyone right now, like, what is your thing on TikTok? Like, some people like to do skits. Joshua right there, Joshi Boshi, he's doing uh, skits on TikTok. And okay. like, I'm doing more like lifestyle, more fun things, I guess. But it really is up to you. Um, some people start making skits and then they realize, oh my god, I'm actually quite good at making TikTok mm, skits or mm, something. Mm, 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 mm. It's really whatever you think makes you, how to say, whatever you think you have to provide that something fun for the world to see, just yeah. post it on TikTok. No one will judge. Like, TikTok is a place where, like, imperfections is okay. Yes! It really is. Yeah, yes, but- I agree. And a lot of um, uh, um, users that I see who are, they are not perfect, like, Face wise, they, they might have some disability, but people should give them love on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. I think it's great. And it um, one thing I like about TikTok is 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 very candid. You can really be yourself, um, as as opposed to Instagram where everyone's like so polished. And even mm. when they do review, hey guys, today I got <laughs> this makeup. I will use this, this, yeah, this. Yeah. You know. But for TikTok, it's like everyone's just about having fun and sharing fun stuff and. Sometimes yeah. you do come across videos that is informative, which I love mm, about TikTok. It is really, yeah. yeah. So, so, so for normal people like us who have like maybe two followers on our TikTok, <laughs> okay. how do we get viral? Because you can notice some users they might have like one hundred followers, but then some of their videos would have one hundred thousand views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, okay, I think I have a few tips on. Let's just say how to get videos viral. There are a mm. few ways you can actually uh, make your videos like more favorable to the TikTok. Let's just say the al- algorithm or just mm-hmm. people in general. Mm-hmm. But so I guess my first tip. Ah, look at Jeff. That is <laughs> that is his ten that times. Post, is that really post? the average that you need to post to be you know? I, I I don't do it, but it works. <laughs> but I don't do it. Yeah. Okay. You can see it works from Jeff. It really does. But um, what, okay. what will be? If you guys want like simple tips first, number one, use trending audio. There's always like every week there's something new. There's some new type of sound. There's some new type of song that you know, like the say so dance. Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. it also suddenly it popped because one girl made the dance and now the whole world is dancing to it. TikTok is so fast. The trends just keep changing. Like honestly, even daily. But if you want to see a general change, it's like weekly. So just get a song. Use it as the backdrop of your video, and honestly, you can do almost anything with it. Uh, I oh, I don't mean it too okay. literally, but mm, mm. if you think you have like literally maybe an Insta story that is entertaining-ish, and you just want to slap some audio onto it and see how it mm-hmm. goes, just try it out on TikTok. No one really like will judge you by the end of the day. So that's one. Uh, okay. Uh, use trending audio. Uh, secondly, is uh, I don't know how to explain this properly, but sh- the punchline. So. What I notice um, in good TikToks is they always have a very good ending for the TikTok. Like it catches people throughout the whole TikTok. If you mm-hmm. if, if you make if you make sure that people want to not only watch your TikTok throughout the whole thing but maybe watch it twice, then you can get. I can guarantee you that your 
video probably has five digit views because that's how the algorithm works. Oh. The algorithm, um, like just a little insight that I've learned at least is um, if you can make your video confirm people watch it more than one time, you can quite assume that your video will go viral ish. Uh, but it has okay. to be a video that people will re watch. Then, okay. So you don't really need other platforms to promote your TikTok video, right? Or do you still use Instagram or Twitter or other places? The, the thing is, I use TikTok now to actually promote my Instagram. Like, <laughs> yeah. Ah. yeah, I kind of find it weird. But um, but if you... The thing is, like, TikTok is so uh, exponential if you do it right. Yeah. And for example, if I were to do like uh, the Spider-Man video, right? So I do mm. the Spider-Man video, I post it on Instagram, it has maybe four or five digit views. And then if I post one on TikTok and it goes viral, I can kind of direct uh, t- attention or traffic to my Instagram. And mm. and also because people have so little attention span nowadays, right? Like yes. you really just have to show them the best part of something. If you yes. have a long 10 minute video that you think you want to promote, just find the best few seconds, 15 seconds I recommend, but the best mm-hmm. few seconds of the video, slap it on the TikTok, Maybe add an audio if you want to. I recommend it mm-hmm. and hope for the best. <laughs> okay, how about hashtags? Are hashtags important for okay. your caption? Um, there's there's this whole debate with hashtags if they're important or not. Because I bet mm-hmm. you've seen people use hashtag FYP or yes. hashtag for you. XYZ. Has- yes, B- yes, yes. BC. Uh, yeah, yeah. And the thing is that at the moment, I am not sure if it... Um, Okay, it will only be useful if you are the top few videos. That's what I can guarantee you. But okay. if you're just a... If, for example, if you were to use the FYP hashtag, and mm-hmm. then you get... Even if you get 10 million views, the number one FYP, the top 100 FYP videos probably has like minimum 5 million views. So no oh, one wow. will still see your video if, it's a, if you use the FYP hashtag. But oh, okay. if you, for example, like if you're very niche, like um, if you're a radio announcer and yes. I don't think there's a lot of radio announcers on TikTok so why not be the first not one yet. on TikTok? Yeah, 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 exactly. But, but, the, but the problem with me is um, like, like you said, I cannot come up with like three videos even though it's like 15 seconds and I'm the type who always doubt myself that oh my god, this is so lame. You know, uh, I know and that's why I don't post it. I'm just like, you know, I'll just put it under my draft and just let it be and just watch other people's videos. Hmm. Well, well, that goes back to don't judge yourself, bro. Because TikTok really, you <laughs> never know when something can go viral, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I said to you, there was this one time, one of my first viral videos uh, had, um, I think last year was, this video had 600k views. Mm. This video was just an uh, Insta story of me and my friend just fooling around uh, while doing like Kung Fu. And it, okay. it was kind of, it was a very dumb clip, but I just didn't want it to go to waste anywhere, right? So yeah. I just put it on TikTok and I kind of spammed a few videos I found and that video okay. just, it blew up. I don't even know. I thought it would it would just lay there and people would be like, why are you guys so cringe? I really yeah, thought yeah. it would happen. But yeah. you, you really never know. But you really, really you never it. know. Did you put yeah. like a uh, 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 trending audio with that video? Oh no, dude, I literally just slapped it on. I don't even think I put a filter on it. I think I was I was that lazy at that day. So I just threw it there, posted uh-huh. it. I, I put something on the caption, something about Jackie Chan or something. Like, but I didn't think it made any sense also. Yeah. But you really never know. Okay, Joshi Boshi is saying something, which is, I think it's great. If you got an idea, make it before you decide. It's not <laughs> funny agree. anymore. So I when agree. you make it, just post it and see how yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah. Is gonna do totally, totally. Wow. Okay, yeah. you know what, Eric? When when I see you, right? You honestly, I think you have a great potential. Um, because you're you're not you. just on TikTok. I've seen you on ads. I think it was a RHB <laughs> ad. Was yeah. it RHB? Yeah. Yeah. I was. Uh, I've actually done. Yeah. I back then I did more ads and, but the the I guess the funny thing is like so many people know me from TikTok now, which I yeah. appreciate. Like, totally, I'm grateful for it. Yeah. But the thing is that back then, if you knew me like a year ago, I was just known as that guy that makes videos on Instagram. And for mm. example, maybe the Spider Man. Maybe mm. some people would know me as the guy that flips a little bit. But <laughs> flips not, a lot, not, <laughs> not a bit. Okay. <laughs> not a bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool to see. But yeah. 
So what's next, man? I mean, like, uh, uh, what's next for you? Are you going into acting? You think? Because when I see you, somehow I, I got this 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 feeling that hey, Eric could be the next Henry Golding if he really pursues Ooh. acting. Ooh. Because Henry Golding, uh. yeah, because <laughs> when I when I when I see your facial expressions, I mean, I, I don't know. That could be your next big step. So I don't know whether you would venture into acting in the future. Um. I can't deny, like I had had uh, acting as one of my like dreams before. Like mm-hmm. I even remember in one podcast I said before that I'll, I no matter what I will make sure I'll be in Hollywood and do something there. But the thing is, like it doesn't have to be acting. I mean, uh, it it can be through something else. Yes. Some people um, get to Hollywood because they're a content creator, and that was mm. honest, that's honestly at the moment my path. I want mm. to make videos. I want to make videos that for now is more. Uh, how to say it inspires Malaysians more, and then slowly build my way there, and we'll see where it goes. Well, you never know, man. If you see like Charlie DeMello, like you said, join in November, and now she's like the number one go-to person for TikTok moves. Hey, yeah, that, that is hey, crazy. Hey. You really never know. You really never know. Yeah, I mean, and plus, you the path is so uh, I don't know. With Henry achieving Hollywood status, I'm not surprised if you are there one day. Yuna is already there. ZRV has been in the States. So you never know. The next TikTok king right here. We're talking to him. <laughs> well, I mean, I've never heard of a TikToker that... I mean, of course, TikTok is quite new now. But yeah. if, if you start seeing TikTokers becoming actors in Hollywood, I might consider. Let's see what happens. Yeah, look at um, King Batch. Batch, right? Oh, yeah. He was from YouTube. And look at him now. He has a lot... I mean, his roles are not prominent, but still, he's acting in a lot of movies right now. Yeah, yeah and he's on TikTok now too. <laughs> mm, mm. Okay, Eric, we don't want to take any more of your time because I think you will want to create more content <laughs> before okay. we let you go. I'm sure a lot of people who are watching right now is like, I want to be part of the clickbait official. <laughs> what oh do I God, need to I do to that. be in this cool group? Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah. If you guys are recruiting more talents for Clickbait Official, what would the criteria be? I, I know it's not like you know set into stone what you're looking for, but I'm mm-hmm. sure there's some criteria that you guys scout for. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. The thing is, like, when when I first created Clickbait, it was very. I didn't really set rules at the start because I just wanted to make a WhatsApp group. That was literally mm. the start. I wanted a community, a group of people where I can talk about TikTok. Because there's no yeah. TikTokers back then. Now everyone tries no. to join TikTok. So at least I had a few friends in TikTok. Yeah. And slowly when I added people, um, one criteria for sure is that I wanted to make sure that I only added people that are that create original content or they have a, they have their own kind of I wouldn't say brand, but their own thing on TikTok. Their own like, flavor on their TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Their own flavor. Yeah. They're not like those people that just hop onto trends and try to get views and just make TikToks because they want to like famous. To be honest, like not to shade anyone. I know there's a lot of people on TikTok that really are there just to try to get fame. But I know. I, I really, I put that into one like, like category. Sure I don't get people like that into it. <laughs> okay, I mean? okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I guess if criteria wise is you create original content um you're nice <laughs> i don't know if that's a criteria but I yeah but it's true that, yeah. yeah you don't want someone to damage the group uh, vibe because I, when you guys got together i was following everyone's uh, tiktok account you guys mm-hmm. look like you guys had fun oh, like yeah. really <laughs> had fun you guys rented a mansion or something or was it someone's <laughs> house oh um that was we got sponsored uh, by a company and they get they got us a that is it a bungalow, not a mansion actually, but wow. yeah, so that was that was really huge. fun. Wow, yeah, it was oh. crazy. I want to do it again, but now we cannot meet. So, mm. yeah, but yeah. but one good thing about MCO though, um, a lot of people are jumping onto TikTok, and yeah. e- even even before MCO, I, I've been a TikTok addict. Even though I don't come out with a lot of videos, but I watch a lot of TikTok and I spam on my Insta stories a lot. And people are always, they were condemning me because my age group, the 30 plus are E, TikTok. Uh, uh, uh. Mm, I know but now, mean, who's on TikTok now? <laughs> yeah, right. See, right. What did you guys say a year ago? Now everyone's on TikTok. Exactly. Like you said, it's a very fun platform. So uh, you can get information, you can get a lot of entertainment. 
Um, again, Eric, I thank you so much for spending your time with us. Uh, I'm Thanks sorry, guys, me. if you wanted to see Eric dance or do some clips, <laughs> it's more of a TikTok, like T A L K, for yeah, Eric to guide you what to do. So, ah, before, last, last question. Yeah, yeah, come. Will there be like a Malaysian TikTok gathering somehow in Ooh. the works? Um, the thing is, like, we've already had like our. Hey, Jeff is here again. Jeff actually had his, um, a gathering too, together with part of our uh, gang. But mm -hmm. if you mean like a gathering, do you mean like just our gathering within Clickbay or to meet people? When you're to meet people, like your fans. I'm sure each of you have like hundred thousands of fans who want to see you in person. Um, the thing is, okay, I personally have thought of doing it, and mm -hmm. I actually wanted to uh, do it together with LV, and we'll probably find a sponsor to do it, like an actual thing, so we can mm. like bring this TikTok community, and we can just create content. I, I find that that'll be really, really great. Um, but honestly, that will be in the works because right now I do not know what we can do. Even in the coming half year, I really don't. Yeah. But it, it is something I'm considering, and I would love to do it because TikTok is really uh, growing in Malaysia, and I would love to like be part of this this great community. Do Do you know anyone um, from Malaysia who's working with TikTok? Yeah, I. Okay. Yeah, I do. <laughs> So, so you know, the, the the source is already there and all you got to do is get some sponsorship and I think they can help organize. All you got to do is to be there, man. Yeah, exactly. Well, we'll see what happens. Anything, I'll let you know, man. <laughs> okay, um, Gabriela Fauzia is asking, have you guys actually met Charlie before? No, but I would love to. Like, the, <laughs> do you know, like, um, I think in December, Charlie was already a big thing. Um, mm -hmm. And she did this meet and greet. It was all for charity, and you mm -hmm. could you could just meet her. I think in America for like a hundred bucks or something. Is that okay? Actually, is that cheap? I am not too sure if it's cheap or not. So hundred dollars would be around four hundred ringgit. Yeah, I but think, I guess it means a hundred to them, lah, right? Yes, hundred yeah, is still I, a lot. I mean, if when I was studying in the state, hundred hundred dollars you can still buy a lot of stuff. Oh uh, yeah, but, yeah. Um, no, I haven't. I would love to meet her, mm -hmm. but. I know Gary Vaynerchuk has met her and he has met her so technically I mean if he touched her hand and I touched Gary's hand <laughs> so I've met her like that lah <laughs> That doesn't yeah. count Eric, I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm, so, I'm trying to make myself feel happy bro <laughs> Okay, okay Alright, uh, before you go Eric is there anything you want to share with your fans who is watching us right now? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure um, I guess first it's just a little bit about TikTok is that to everyone that is, if you guys all are, love that, are already like in TikTok <laughs> or you guys yeah. just joined TikTok or something, just make sure that um, when you guys are on TikTok, just have fun really. That's the core thing about TikTok. When people scroll on TikTok, people just want to get entertained and they want to see fun things. And and it's just, just have a good time there. Trust me, don't like kind of like, how to say, put too much like uh, into it. You know? Don't overthink it, is it? Yeah, don't overthink it really. Just like yeah. Jeff said again, be yourself. It really be is the yourself. It really is the key to <laughs> TikTok. And then I guess one last thing is just uh um we're all gonna get through this whole M R M O together so everyone stay strong. If you guys like how to say um we're all in this together, that's what I'm trying to say, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Eric. And again, Gabriela, I'm gonna answer your question. Uh, is it possible if I can do a duet with Eric? You can, right? On TikTok, you can just have that duet function and just do what you want to do. Yeah, I can. Right? I totally could. If I yeah. can get a duet with Eric, it'll dream for me to do it with Eric on TikTok. But she said that she wants to do it with me. Totally, do it right now. You can do <laughs> Yeah, go on your TikTok once we're done with this IG live. And yeah. Eric, thank you so much, man. I mean, this thank is my you, second no. time. Unfortunately, it's not in person. Yeah. Seeing you. Um, you stay safe and say hello to your family for us, okay? For sure, for sure. All right, ciao, TikTok right. king. <laughs> bye bye. Ciao, ciao. Okay, bye. Fly FM, today's hottest music.